There are exactly 174 running backs in the NFL. Christian McCaffrey is the best at a 99 overall, and Britton Brown is the worst at a 59 overall. So in this video, I'm combining every running back into one player, and the goal is to break as many rushing records and make the Hall of Fame. All right, so here's how I did it. We have this website called MaddenRatings.com, and uh, very conveniently, if you sort by position, you can go to halfbacks right over here, and they have the top 100 halfbacks. Like I said, there's 174. Now, the last video, I combined every quarterback into one player, and the thing is, there was so many trash quarterbacks, it kind of messed it up, and you guys had an idea. I should just take the players that are starting in the NFL and combine them into one. So for this video, I took the top 32 running backs in the league and combined them into one player. So the best one is um, right here, Chris McCaffrey, 99, then Nick Chubb at a 96. And if we go all the way down, just, you know, if you're curious, the 100th best is Enjo Benjamin or Eno Benjamin from the Saints. And then the 50th, so the midpoint would be Justice Hill. But for this video, I cut it off after Gus Edwards. Then I went into the Google Sheets and uh, I took all their stats, made an average, and we have a player created from combining them all. And that player is right here, an 84 overall mid doula running back on the Baltimore Ravens. So the Ravens are actually missing a running back. That's like the last piece they need. In real life, they just traded for Derrick Henry, but this is Madden 24, so not yet. He's not on this team just yet. But uh, yeah, 21 years old, and I made him 5'10", 215 pounds. When I think of some of the best running backs, you know, the average height is 5'10", 215 pounds. They're usually kind of smaller uh, compared to all the positions. But I mean, Barry Sanders was 5'8", and in my opinion, he's, he's the GOAT. You know, I'm a Lions fan, but he's like the GOAT. Um, but I, I think this is good. If y'all play running back, comment down below if y'all play running back uh, football in real life, and send me clips on Instagram, bro. I have some people send me clips on Instagram, and y'all can hoop or y'all could y'all could ball not hoop y'all okay yeah actually pretty solid me personally i never played football but if i did i would have been a running back more like a uh derrick henry type of build you know 5'8 uh 180 but back in the day i was like even stronger so usually uh for running backs they're all pretty massive especially their legs like the thighs and calves are maxed out they're really strong they could squat like you know 700 pounds um me personally i got up to like 405 i'm being serious i i, I promise but now going over the stats after combining them all is we have 91 speed, which is solid, 93 acceleration, 86 brake tackle, 91 carrying, and the truck in the stiff arm isn't bad. I mean, 82 for both, 88 juke move. One of the most important ones is the change of direction, which is at 86. And then I also had to combine their catching attributes because, you know, Christian McCaffrey, he can catch the ball as well. A lot of running backs are uh, versatile that way. So 71 catching is the average. And then the route running is pretty bad. Blocking is decent. And then when it comes to stamina and injury, not bad at all. And as you can see, he has no X Factor abilities because the average running back doesn't. That's like, you know, reserved for the top of the top, the Nick Chubbs of the world. So overall wise, when it comes to all running backs, this should put us in the middle of the pack a little bit. Yeah, I would say like we're like the, you know, 17th best running back. So right above Kyron Williams and right under uh, Mustard, which I would say isn't bad at all considering, you know, we're trying to break as many records as possible. By the end of this video, I wanna be on one of these record books. I wanna either have all time rushing yards being the top 10 or either all time rushing touchdowns, even in a single season, get the most rushing yards. Eric Dickerson got uh, 2,100. If we can get in a 2,000 club once, that'd be great. Obviously looking at this Baltimore lineup, they are solid, uh, very run heavy team with Lamar Jackson and then usually Gus Edwards. They got Mark Andrews, they dump it off to him a lot. But I would say for us, we have a pretty solid line with Ronnie Stanley and a couple other solid players we should cook there's really no excuse so with that being said let's start our career man and try to you know have the best season possible and win a ring and I want you guys to comment down below right now who is the most mid running back you can think of I honestly don't know Gus Edwards does come to mind um you know I David Montgomery I, but I like David Montgomery you know, as a Lions fan Jameer Gibbs he's I think he's gonna be an elite running back next season but when I think of most average um, I would probably say David Montgomery. Like I said, bro, the Ravens missing piece was an elite running back and we're not, I wouldn't even consider ourselves elite, but we're, you know, I would say technically we're not better than average, but like in my head, I feel like we're better than average 84 overall. That's better than what they had before. I mean, we're seven and zero, oh, so I got to see how are my stats looking at the midpoint of the season. Lamar is eighth in yards, third in passing touchdowns and yours truly mid doula. Oh, hold on. Is Gus Edwards the starting? Wait, bro. Hold on. There's no way. Yeah, I'm an idiot, bro. I'm actually an idiot. I thought when I saw in the lineup I was starting, I didn't think I'd have to readjust the depth chart. 
Okay, whoa, they're still not playing me. Yeah, I only ran the ball 26 times this season in seven games because I didn't, I wasn't a starter. So we're gonna fix that. Here we go, moment of truth, we go 14 and three. So I'd like to imagine that we uh, were a huge contributing factor to that, but let's see. Yeah, Lamar Jackson actually had the most rushing yards for our team, 30th in the, in the NFL. Granted, we did get off to like a slow start, we were behind. So we only ended up getting 460 yards, only one touchdown. Bro, in 10 games, that's pretty bad, right? That's, that's pretty bad, I would say. Uh, I might have messed up, but I don't think it'd be this you know, much of an effect to it. It's all good. At the end of the day, we're here. We're in what matters, the playoffs. So we have a first round bye, luckily. Uh, so we're going to advance the next week and see who our first playoff matchup is going to be. And it's going to be the LA Chargers, which is a solid team. Very solid team, 84 overall, but we should have them. Let's hop in. All right, my guess is because we're really solid offensively and defensively, we should fly right past them, but we're low key, we're struggling. Hold on, 14 to three, can we put up a score? Here we go, 14 11, our defense can't hold up. And now let's go play by play right here. Uh, third and two, first and 10, third and four, they're gonna kick a field goal. They went for it. They went aggressive with it and they got a field goal. So here's where I hop in. So here we go, down by six. It's time to see what we have. The most average running back right here on a read option play. I'm gonna hand it off in the beginning. And we got like, what, three yards? We ran for 71 so far. Now our best attribute is our speed. So I wanna take advantage of our speed and just, you know, kinda, you know, go laterally just like that. Yes, sir, give me a first down, baby. And remember, I only play on all Madden. So this is not gonna be like easy. I, I mess up a lot in the videos because all Madden against the CPU is tough. We got the screen pass off. Great blocking, bro, great blocking. And now Lamar Jackson is injured. He broke his back, it looks like, or lumbar. I don't know, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't really paying attention in anatomy class, but. He's out, <laughs> he's cooked. We just put so much more pressure on me because now it's uh, Huntsley at starting, or you know, at quarterback now. So I gotta lock in. Use my speed to my advantage, yes sir. Break free, cut in, I almost had it. Hey, we're doing our thing though. Oh, okay, he just had muscle cramps. Yeah, bro, he, he, he be all right. He's back in the game. I am kind of scared to throw the ball, especially with Lamar Jackson, but we're doing this mesh play where I'm on a wheel route. I do like what I'm seeing, hold on. Playmaker, playmaker, on the run. No, he overthrew it, damn it. Now this play is very important. Third and 11, it's a play action play. And I'm gonna look at either Zay Flowers or Mark Andrews across the middle. Mark Andrews is the one. Yes, sir, good catch, boy. I have 71 catching, so on these uh, short pass routes, I should be able to get it to my guy. And we caught it, whoa, I thought it was gonna be intercepted. We made the catch and got a first down. They had to sub me out and put in Gus Edwards. I get it, man. Give me a little bit of a break. Up the middle, Gus Edwards. Give me a few yards. Under two minutes now. Let's just keep on cooking. Great blocking. And we're at the two-yard line. Are they going to start calling their timeouts or not? It doesn't look like it. They have all three. I say we just chew clock and punch it in for a touchdown. We're going to do an inside zone play to yours truly. Can we go ahead and punch it in? Yes, sir. But do we give him too much time to get a field goal? I don't know. So we're up by one point and all right, now is where we watch. With 48 seconds left, they're already at the midpoint of the field with one timeout left. Let's see what Justin Herbert could do. In the pocket, he has plenty of time outside and they stayed in bounds. So I think they're gonna have to burn their last timeout. Now they're doing no huddle, but they're in field goal territory. If they make one more pass, if they make one more pass and he caught it, I think we're cooked. For some reason, they're not calling a timeout. They're gonna risk it. I feel like the clock could just, yo, the clock could just run out. Yeah, he threw, he threw it out of bounds, that's smart. And it actually, they didn't even have Justin Herbert. It was a backup quarterback. Justin might've been injured, but we're gonna ice him. I actually don't know how far of a field goal this is. I would say it's at least 45 yards, might be like 48. But moment of truth for the game, to advance to the next round, we end up losing, wow. The Chargers beat us on a field goal. That's very anticlimactic. We did our thing. I mean, I think as a running back, we played great. I ran for 98 yards. I had a touchdown and then receiving wise, I got 57 yards receiving. So as a rookie, I did my thing. And it ends up being the Chiefs going all the way, but Lamar Jackson wins NFL MVP and Offensive Player of the Year. So I think pretty solid. Hopefully we keep our same core and I can play a full season at starting running back in year number two. It looks like we should be straight. 87 overall team still. We kept the most of our core. Um, so now in year number two, I just want to submit to next week, make sure I'm actually playing as a starter and they're not screwing me over. And I also want to see how many attempts do we get. We lost 35 to 28. Okay, that's not good. But I wanted to see how many rushing attempts did I get because we might have to change the playbook up. 
Ravens, uh, I got 13 attempts for only 33 yards. Is 13 rushing attempts in the game good or bad? I can't tell. How much did Josh Jacobs get? 17? Yeah, I guess, I guess I guess that's normal. At the midpoint of the season, six and one is solid, and now we can actually say it's because of us. We actually do have a, you know play a role in this. Lamar Jackson, he gets a lot of touchdowns, not too many yards, but for us, mid doula, we're tenth in rushing yards, touchdown wise. We just can't get touchdowns. But I would say being tenth in rushing yards is pretty solid, considering we're in the middle of the pack as a running back. So. Hey, this system, let's just see what system we're even in. West Coast Power Run, and is that the best for our scheme? I mean, 80% scheme fit, let's see. Vertical zone run would be better because we're low key like an elusive back. So I think we should switch to this, keep the same playbook, but switch up the scheme, and then we'll finish up the season and see if it makes a difference. Dang, okay, maybe it wasn't the best idea. We finished 11 and six. So now we're in the wild card game. Not expected to see that at all, but let's see where we stand now in terms of rushing yards, change up that scheme. We finished third in offensive yards. And then for yours truly, we finished second in rushing yards and 10th in touchdowns. So we got the second most carries with 311. I like what I'm seeing, bro. It's only Josh Jacobs who ran more than us and had more yards by like 300, but we got 13 touchdowns no fumbles at all very impressive no fumbles and our longest run was 75 yards so i would say i would say well we played more downs than uh josh jacobs how many receiving yards did we have then we had about 148 receiving yards and a uh, receiving touchdown not bad at all bro but now it's time to actually win a game so starting off this ball game we are up 10 to or 17 to 7 going into halftime this second half we are taking over right yeah 31 to 14 that should be game running all over this Jags team and we get the W. Your boy himself ran for 112 yards, had two touchdowns, and what overall is Travis Etienne? I can't even see, but we gotta be better than him. But uh, see, he's literally like the most average running back as well, I would say, 5'10", 215. I wasn't just talking, bro, very accurate. Our next game is against the LA, or L uh, LV Las Vegas Raiders, who were 14 and three, and Max Crosby at left end, you know, he's a beast. Uh, we, got, we got to run past him, so we'll see how this goes. Let's get it. We start off with a touchdown right away, but it's a matter of our defense holding. I couldn't even tell you who their quarterback is this season. I honestly didn't even check. But our defense is solid, man. Patrick Queen, at linebacker, one of the best in the game. He got an interception. And I think, hold on. Ho, oh, ho, ho. 20 to 14. Let's take a play by play. I mean, we're at the eight yard line. We end up scoring. I think we should be all right if our defense can hold up. They score as well. Hold on. First and 10, second and eight, third and three. All right, we got a first down and that's game. Lamar had a ball game, man. 270 yards, three touchdowns. And then uh, how did I do? I ran for 55 yards, nothing crazy. And now we're in the conference championship game against the Bills. The Bills are a tough team. They went 10 and seven. I think we have it in the bag though. I don't know, man. Seven to 21 is not looking too good for us at all. Our defense is struggling, dog. If they score again, we're cooked. We're cooked, bro. I'm surprised our defense is that bad. Very surprised. Very, hold on, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. 22 to, th whoa, wait a minute, ho, 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 we st we're still in it. First and 10 at our own six yard line, down by eight, it is, it is not over. It's not gonna be easy though. First and 10, who should I give it to? You know what, I'm gonna, I should give it to Mark Andrews to be honest. If we could have like a big run for like, I don't know, maybe 75 yards, that'd be great. Beat him, yes, all right, down the sideline, I will take it, that's a good, what, 20 yards, 30 yards? Bro, this field is so bright, I can't even see. Why is it so realistic? There's no way it looks this bad. Yo, come on. All right, Zay Flowers, I might give it to him. He has not beat deep. What type of pass is that, bro? Mesh play, I'm looking at yours truly. Hold on, get it to him. Yes, big catch, big throw, and is that gonna be a touchdown? Yes, sir, TD, baby, to yours truly. And I think we should go for two, right? We have to, we don't have much time to deal with. So the question is, what play do we do? See, I'm too gassed to even be in this, in this play. I would've just ran it, but my stamina is too low. Lamar Jackson, I'm gonna scramble in with him. Great block right there, that, that right there, that block changed everything. And it's a tie ball game. Imagine we come back and win this. Let's take it play by play here. Second and 10, ah, damn, they are low key marching down the field. Yeah, that's game. They end up, wait a minute. We're in overtime? Did they miss a field goal or something? What? What's going on? Third and eight, fourth and eight? And why do they still have the ball? Bro, what is going on? 
I'm so lost right now, but they just they beat us in overtime. That was that was ridiculous. Man. Yeah, Josh Allen had 400 yards. GG's. Another fail of a season. And the Bills go all the way. I was hoping we'd be offensive player of the year, but it goes to Jalen Hurst instead. I mean, we got second in yards. I feel like we probably should have won it, but it's all good. I'm not stopping until we win a chip. So we're gonna be here for a while. Man, I mean, a win is a win. We're here, but we barely made it. Pretty pathetic record, nine and eight. Uh, we kind of fell off. Lamar definitely fell off being 25th in passing yards, which is ridiculous. And then I finished ninth in, in rushing yards. I don't know why we did so bad, but it's whatever. I'm actually gonna simulate this wild card game against the uh, Dolphins. They're probably gonna beat us. I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. They're probably gonna beat us. And, oh no, oh shit, I was wrong. We crushed them, 42 to 13, damn. Your boy ran for 114 yards, had two touchdowns, so definitely played a big role in that W. And now we're up against the Bills. I'm gonna simulate this one too. I just wanna hop in the Super Bowl, bro. I really don't wanna play all these games and just, just to loot, we lost 28-21. Bro, this is tough. Yeah, three years in, we still have no winning to show for it. It actually ends up being Saquon Barkley winning Offensive Player of the Year. Now he's with the Eagles, so there's no chance of that ever happening. But, um, yo, he could have been amazing. If you want to see me do resims of players, like, or just, you know, simulate someone's career from the beginning, like Saquon, let me know, bro. Bro, I don't know what happened, but this next season we go 15-2. and two. I genuinely don't know how we did that much better, but... Game is game. Like, I'm not complaining. Lamar Jackson was still decent. Like, I mean, 26th in passing yards is pretty bad. But I was third in rushing yards and first in rushing touchdowns. So, that's actually huge. Did we break any records yet? Rushing TDs. Uh, no. We had 20. 21 is what we need to get in the record books. Maybe next season. So, I'm going to click Sim to Super Bowl. And I expect us to appear there. If we're not there, I'm going to be tight. We had a great record, a great team. This is the year to do it. Moment of truth. Did we make it? Yes, we made it. All right, up against the Philadelphia Eagles. This is what I'm talking about, man. Let's hop in. Here we go. Starting off this ball game, we don't score. And on defense, we let up a touchdown right away. We come back with a touchdown of our own. We also have the best kicker in NFL history. So we have that going for us. Oh, yeah. 21-7. Oh, we're cooking. I'm going to have to hop in for fun. Hey, man, let me just hop in for fun real quick. Unless they score here, then it won't be for fun. Okay. Hold on, second and three, first and 10. We are, oh, we, game's over. At this point, let's just, you know, punch it in for fun. 11 yards to go. I have my X Factor ability now. I became a superstar during my career just from all the winning and being great. And I just lost this a yard. I don't care, we're going for it. Fourth and three, screenplay. This could be a touchdown right here. Uh, wide open. Oh yeah, this is a touchdown. For sure, a touchdown, right? Get me in there. Ah, come on, touchdown, baby. We spoke into existence. And just like that, hey, that's a Super Bowl uh, victory for us. We got the W. 35 to 21, and we end up with our first Super Bowl victory. And I played a huge role in this one. I actually wanna see how many yards I got. Lamar, he can't, he can't believe it, bro. Patrick Queen, hey, this is the first ring for the Ravens since 2013, I believe, right? Yeah, I mean, this is me right here. I'm, I'm, I'm all ecstatic and everything, you know? I mean, he's part of the reason we won. Lamar, he threw for 200 yards, which isn't bad, but I feel like I played even better. Let's see. Oh yeah, 150 yards, two touchdowns. That's that's a that's an MVP performance right there. And then we also had 28 receiving yards in a receiving touchdown. And we end up winning Super Bowl MVP. So that right there, I can't tell you the last time a running back won that award. So that's a W right there. Combining every running back, the most average one, ends up winning Super Bowl MVP. At this point, I'm just going to send to the end of his career and we'll see what record do we break or if we broke any at all. All right, so the year is 2034. And if we view 2034 retirements, uh, your boy, your boy, Mid Dula, officially retired. After 12 seasons, that's pretty good. The average NFL running back lasts like five years, I think. So 12 is, is insane. And during our career, if we go to awards, we made the Pro Bowl nine times. We were the 2028 best running back. I think we we're the best running back like five times in our career. We led the league in rushing yards for three seasons. And when it comes to the record books, we made the record books for most rushing touchdowns in a season, or actually not the most, but like we were like sixth, I think, with 23 back in 2028. And then for our career, this panned out way better than I expected. Most career rushing yards is uh, Josh Jacobs actually with 18,000, but we finished right here with 16,400. The one record we almost broke, we tied first. So, you know, I would say we broke it. 164 rushing touchdowns. Emmitt Smith, the legendary running back, was the only other person to do that. And then Josh Jacobs was right behind us. So, all in all, combining every running back, great career. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see it with quarterback, 
check this video out right here. If you want to see me by receiver, let me know in the comments below. I'll catch you guys soon, man. Peace.